am Leah Bellavo, and I'm here with Deb Meyer, who is the director of the Vocabulary Day Parade, which we will be seeing in a few minutes, and I'd like to find out a little bit more about that. So, Vocabulary Day Parade, how, how does that work? Well, what we're, our goal is to try to expand the students' vocabulary. We want them to learn. We figure if we have, say, 160 students participating in this, that hopefully they're going to learn a lot of new vocabulary words and expand their vocabulary so they can use it in their everyday life and in their academics and just, just help them to be a, a more intelligent person. So they um, choose a word and then what happens? Well, what happens is they choose actually three words uh -huh. because we want to avoid duplicates. So we want everyone to have their own specific special word. So they choose three words, and then once they choose their words, they write a sentence that goes along with it that uses the word in context so that when they get up on stage, it explains what the meaning of the word is without actually saying the, the definition because you can get that out of the dictionary. So we want it to be a little bit more fun and exciting. So it's and not just the word, they actually become the word? They actually choose the word. They're going to make a sentence with a word in it, and they actually dress up to represent that word and the word used in the sentence. So it all connects, it all matches. Do you ever have to reject any of their choices? Um, actually, there are, have been a couple times when I have where it's either, of course, they're duplicates, or if it's not challenging enough, you know, because I know that these are smart kids at the Eddy School, and they should be pushing themselves to learn more. So sometimes if it's not challenging enough, and then every once in a while we do have some sort of inappropriate words that we try to <laughs> kick out and choose a different, make a better choice. What grade levels are involved? Um, just third and fourth graders. And this school is grades three through five, correct? Right, and then fifth grade, they had they get to look forward to the poetry slam. So oh. every grade gets a special event. This is just for third and fourth, but then there's the poetry slam. And of course, and tied in with state standards. And, yeah. Right, all English that language arts. arts. Right, and all that. Fantastic. And to choose the words, they can, I give them suggestions. They can choose it from the Wonders Reading Program. If they're really excited about a subject like science or math or social studies, they can choose it from any of those areas. If they have a career aspiration and they want to pick a word from that, they can do so. Um, I say the sky's the limit. Whatever they want to do, as long as it's a, cha a challenging word and it's educating the audience and new vocabulary. And there's a lot of work that goes behind the scenes of this event. When do you start working on Well, we start right after Christmas break. Wow. We, after the holiday, we come back and we get, it's like on a treadmill, we start running because I want to give, it's, a, it's actually a homework assignment, so a lot of it gets mm -hmm. done at home. I want to give the parents plenty of time to get the words, the sentences, and the costume because that takes, that's the time consuming part. So I want it to be a fun, enjoyable time. And so I want to give them plenty of chance to get, get their costume ready and not have to feel rushed about it. So we start right away, right after vacation. And what is your position here at Eddie? I'm a Title I teacher. Title I, and that reading. involves reading. Reading and math, right. Mm -hmm. both. Well, I really look forward to seeing the kids and um, can't wait. It's a very exciting time. I can't wait either. Well, thanks for talking with us. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. He set up the whole cafeteria while trying to prepare for the snowstorm that was coming. So 
I'm very appreciative of that. I wanted to thank Mrs. Smythe and Mrs. Von Waldy for all the uh, technology that they helped me out with. Um, Mrs. Bellavo <laughs> was nice enough to come and videotape this so that we can see it on uh, TV Channel 21, the district channel. So if you want to watch it, oh, 22? 22, 22, sorry. Um, so if you want to watch it later, you may. Um, I also wanted to thank Mrs. Hancock, Mrs. Ireland, Mrs. Hughes, Mrs. Benning for all their support. And of course, a big thank you for Mrs. Hughes, our principal, for agreeing to be the Grand Marshal. She was more than gracious to do that. Um, let's see. Uh, you're in for a treat. The words that were chosen are challenging and very interesting. The costumes are creative and inventive. And before we start, I did want to share a word that I chose for my vocabulary day for April. So I'm just going to hold it up here. The word is tempest. And I'm going to read the sentence that goes along with it. Um, let's see. The tempest, with its violent wind and heavy snowfall, caused us to postpone the vocabulary day. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you enjoy the show. We're ready to begin. Okay, All right, so here we are. We're ready to begin. And the first class that's going to be coming out is Mrs. Andex's class. And they are all lined up and they're very excited. You might think have a ballot in front of you and hopefully a pencil as well so that you can do your voting and then hand that in on, on the table on your way out today. We'll just get Mrs. Meyer a chance. There she is, so she can be set up. Good to go, Mrs. Meyer? We are good to go. Thank you for arranging all of this. I, I look forward to this every every year. It's so fun. So all right, Mrs. Index class. I have a thumbs up. We're ready to go. Our first student is Jacob Ayerga, and his word is bigger. I need bigger to run very fast Let's for go. long distances. Let's go. <laughs> bigger. Thank you, Jacob. <laughs> Okay, next up is Brody Bassett. Brody's word is gusto. His sentence is, when I play hockey with my friends, I play with lots of energy and gusto every second of the game. Gusto. <laughs> and next up, Brody Bassett, here he is. His word is amused. I was amused by the monkey at the zoo when he made a hysterical face. Amused. <laughs> Ellie Cormier. Her word is orbit. I think she, oh yeah, step right in that opening so we can see you a little bit more. Right where the X is. There you go. All right, the Earth orbits around the sun in an oval, which takes 365 days. Orbit. Braden Decker is up next. Braden's word is havoc. The children had too much energy and caused havoc in the classroom. Oh no, havoc. Next is Sebastian Diaz. Oh. Hardly recognize him there. His word is swagger. When the Bruins won the championship, I'm sorry, evasive is his word. The black ninja was so evasive that nobody could catch him or knew who he was. Evasive. <laughs> Thank you, Sebastian. Alyssa Hutchinson. Her word is indigenous. The indigenous people to Cape Cod are those native to the area. Indigenous. Darren Hugh Morris is next. His word is disgruntled. I was disgruntled and stomped my feet 
when I showed up for morning gym at 7 and the door was locked. <laughs> <laughs> Isabella Malin is next. Camouflage. She's in hiding. Camouflage can help you hide in your house or backyard by blending into your surroundings. Camouflage. Morgan Philbrick. Her word is spry. When I was at the playground, I saw a spry 15-year-old man jumping up and down on the structures. Excellent demonstration. Thank you, Marlon. Next up is Cole Roach. His word is constellation. The astronomer looks through his telescope at the constellation of the Big Dipper. Amari Vizardini is next. Her word is inquisitive. The detective was inquisitive when asking questions and trying to solve the case. Inquisitive. <laughs> Amelia Roberts. Oh, can't bring up Amelia. There you are. when she found out she was going to the moon. Blake Harris. Blake's word is fragile. 
<laughs> don't drop the glass because it is fragile and it will break. Thank you. And here comes Leah Brown. Her 
word is acoustic. Everyone in the audience could hear the beautiful sound when I played my guitar because the cafeteria has good acoustics. Beatrice Caloro. Her word is compassionate. The compassionate bunny looked at the injured bunny from care. Compassionate. Next up, Heather Campbell. Her word is ecstatic. She, she is ecstatic because she is going to Disney World, her favorite place on earth. You're ecstatic. Will Christopher is up next. Will's word is slovenly. <laughs> the boy looked slovenly after he ate his cereal. Slovenly. Thank you, Will. <laughs> Amani Cole. His word is incandescent. Incandescent light bulbs shine on my Christmas trees. Incandescent. Here comes Miranda Dennis. Her word is jocular. <laughs> Betty was so jocular when she told jokes at the clown birthday party. <laughs> jocular. <laughs> Kayla Harris. Her word is motivate. <laughs> the cheers of the cheerleaders helped motivate the Patriots players to play hard and win the game. <laughs> motivate. Here comes Will Layton. Her word is mousy. My cousin Ralph loved to show off at parties, but poor mousy me, I tried to hide in the corner. Oh. <laughs> Earlier we had the word polychromatic, and now Abigail with pride has the word monochromatic. My guinea pig Oliver is completely orange, and therefore he is monochromatic. <laughs> Next up comes Mallory Marshall. Her word is vibrant. I have a very vibrant personality because I am always so full of enthusiasm. Vibrant. <laughs> Caleb McLaughlin. His word is allegiance. The Red Sox fan showed his allegiance with Red Sox paraphernalia and my cheering for his team. Allegiance. And I'm on tip. Oh. Next up, Sadie Merchant. Luxurious is her word. My luxurious fur coat is soft and fluffy. Luxurious. <laughs> and I'm on tail. Crepitate. When I stepped onto the thin ice, it began to crepitate under my feet and I became scared. I dance throughout my house to music. Radiant. Here comes Abby Parrott. Her word is exertion. The runner used much exertion during the race. Exertion. Elizabeth Redding. Her word, hang on for this one, prestidigitation. The magician used her skills in prestidigitation to entertain the audience. How did I do with that one? Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Next up is Garrett Smith. Yes, you can hear him coming. His word is Dawn. The knight dons his armor before going into battle. Dawn. Sarah Wilson, her word 
is jubilation. The entire school was in jubilation on the morning of field day. Jubilation, yes, that was very nice. Okay, that concludes Mrs. Elchich's class. Well done, everyone. And we'll take a picture. And it's time for Ms. Montgomery's class, our final third grade classroom. Introducing Molly Archer. Her word is Bonnie. The Bonnie Princess's beauty was admired by everyone around as she walked through the castle to the garden to pick flowers. Bonnie, thank you. Okay, you're ready. Reese Daly is up next. Reese's word is bond. After spending the weekend together, my mom and I formed a closer bond. <laughs> <laughs> next up is Lauren Eldred. His word is odiferous. Oh my. <laughs> my dad's socks smell odiferous. <laughs> Oscar Escher. Oscar's word is knack. He was really talented at and had a knack for stick handling. Knack. Next up is Ava Garnigo. Her word is rupture. The ice in the pipe caused it to rupture. Oh, that's the worst nightmare these days. Definitely rupture. <laughs> Mira Girardi. The word is concoct. She concocted the cookie dough in a small metal bowl while she stirred it with her tiny wrist. Concoct. Scintillated in the dark sky 
on the 4th of July, Scintillate. <laughs> Eli Park. His word is assimilate. It's difficult to assimilate too much information at once. Assimilate. <laughs> Jeremy Poitras. His word is maelstrom. I saw a great white shark stuck and swirling towards the bottom of the sea in a maelstrom. <laughs> Shay Redhan. This word is duplicate. <laughs> when I look in the mirror, I'm sorry, and you, there's a couple ways to pronounce this word. You can also say duplicate. When I look in the mirror, I see a duplicate image of myself. Excellent. Riley Smith is here. Her word is provisions. She has a tray full of provisions there. Riley packed a lot of provisions for lunchtime because she was very hungry. <laughs> provisions. <laughs> and our final third grader this morning. <laughs> Isabella Thibodeau. Her word is plethora. There was a plethora of animals like cats and dogs at the shelter. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here with Eli Park at Eddy Elementary School who has just participated in the vocabulary parade and I'd like to ask him a few questions about that. Hi Eli. Hello. What is your word? Assimilate as you can probably see here. Assimilate. And how did you choose that word? I just looked in the dictionary and, and I was looking through the A words and I saw assimilate and I'm like hmm I don't know that word. Okay it's my word. And so you looked at the definition? Yeah. What does it mean? Uh, in this case, it means uh, to take info in, information in, so, yeah. I see you have a lot of math. We just went to Staples and bought flashcards and stuff and, like, put them on my stuff. Yeah. So was it fun getting, getting the costume together for your word? Yeah. Yeah? Assimilate. That's a great word. Well, thanks for talking to us today, and have a great day at school. Okay. Bye. Bye. Delaney and Olivia, I'm sorry, Olivia's absence of Brianna's helping. 
Delaney and Juliana are using telecommunication to converse electronically through the use of apparatus or tools such as cell phones and iPads. Once again, apparatus and telecommunication. Thank you. Here comes Autumn Candeli. Her word is Felicity. Autumn was happy and smiled with Felicity when she realized that she was going sledding. Felicity. Thank you, Autumn. Henley DeLonga. Her word is ambitious. The ambitious reporter was determined to become successful by working hard and checking resources.
your balance ready? Our first student from the classroom is Maya Barr. Maya's word is pristine. Her sentence is after the maid was done cleaning the house, it looked pristine. Thank you, Maya. Next up, Jacob Boskus. His word is angler. The angler worked hard for four hours to catch a giant tuna with his rod and reel. Angler. James Brita. His word is vendor. A hot dog vendor walked around the ballpark selling hot dogs for three dollars each. Vendor. Billy Chase. Here he comes. His word is stealthy. A ninja is stealthy when he is silent and sneaky as he approaches his enemy. Stealthy. Thank you, Dylan. Logan Clifford. Her word is natatorium. Every day after school, we go to the natatorium to practice for the swim meet. Margaret Conrad. Margaret has an assistant. Her word is rueful. I felt rueful as I watched the husky being pulled into the dog pound. <laughs> Delilah Combs. Her word is sporadic. The frantic dog ran, ran all around in a sporadic manner. Sporadic. <laughs> Jesse Cottrell is up next, and his word is transcontinental. The man completed a transcontinental walk from Asia to Europe, passing through Russia. Transcontinental. Miranda Rogers up next, and her word is jovial. The party goers were in a jovial mood as they celebrated the new year. Jovial. <laughs> George Ewald. George's word is endearing. The little black lab was very cute and endearing with carrying around her cuddly dog toy. Endearing. Sammy Graves. Sammy's word is fissure. The Great Wall of China contains many fissures or cracks due to its old age. Demonstration there. Thank you. Allison Hale is up next. Fluorescent. The bright, shiny light from the moon was very fluorescent. Lauren <laughs> Jones Carlson. His word is discombobulated. <laughs> discombobulated. The discombobulated student lost all of his homework on the way to school. Abby Kelsey. We'll give her a second here. All right. Her oh. word is archaic.
Jared's word is intentionally. The Seattle Seahawks intentionally decided to kick a field goal in overtime to win the game. Intentionally. <laughs> Olivia Ryan Souza. The word is slathered. My mom slathered sunscreen all over my face to protect it from the sun's rays. Slattered. Here comes Nathan Taylor, and his word is valiant. There he is. The valiant knight carried a brave sword and a shield, and he bravely went to battle. Valiant. And David Vaughn. His word is controversy. There was controversy when I claimed to be a better dancer than Michael Jackson. Controversy. Thank you. Eric, would you like to take a picture of Mr. Scott's class if we do so now? And our next class will make its way up. Um, 
incognito. A good spy must always be incognito to keep his identity a secret. Incognito. Brian Yashovsky. Brian's word is prosperous. My bow tie business has been very successful, and because of this, I have prospered. Prospered. And the final student in this nice class is Anthony Zhu. His word is dexterity. I have great dexterity with my hands because I can make a detailed origami fortune teller. Contumacious because he was 
not ready to do this anymore. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Crystal <laughs> Ryan. Her word is nutritionist. The nutritionist told me to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables to stay healthy. Nutritionist. Hi, I'm here with Addie Kelsey, who just participated in the Eddie Elementary School Vocabulary Parade, and I want to find out how you chose your word, Addie. Well, we were looking up online, and my mom said, oh, this is a great word, and that's how, um, and I had two other ones. What is your word? Oh, archaic. And what does archaic mean? Archaic means old, in an old-fashioned way, um, like, not in our, what would you call it? Generation. Generation. I see that you are in costume, you have a walker, your hair is gray, you have glasses. And she actually put um, flower in my hair and gray hairspray. And it looks a little clunky, but it's... <laughs> you look a little archaic. <laughs> what were the other words that you thought of before archaic? Torpor, and I can't remember the other one, but it meant you were just one color. Aha. Uh -huh. Monochromatic, maybe? Something yes. like that? So, was it fun being up there on stage with... I was really nervous. Were you? <laughs> but, but you... like, um... I heard the crowd laughing, and that made me feel happy. <laughs> you picked a good word, and you picked a great costume. Well, thanks for talking with us today, and I hope you had fun up there, did you? Yes. Great. Thanks, Addie. Thank you.